Now in this video, we're going to compare the more common, so I'll go over it quick, photoresistor, which is also commonly called a light dependent resistor, right there. So its resistance is determined by how much light is falling on it. If it gets bright enough, it may get uh, somewhat close to zero ohms of resistance, which is a really low. So since we're going to go up to at least 12 volts in this video, we're going to put it in series with the one kilo ohm resistor. So my lamp's not bright enough to get it that low, but it's a possibility. So I'm going to put a one kilo ohm resistor in series with it anyways. So we'll always have at least 1000 ohms of resistance. But that's how the photoresistor works. It doesn't have polarity, doesn't matter which way you put it uh, in the circuit, which lead. Now we're going to compare that to the photodiode. And so as you can see, it's a diode, like the LED, that we're going to compare it to. The arrows are pointing the opposite way, though. The LED emits light, whereas light falls on the photodiode to make it work. You use the photodiode reverse bias. So you put the cathode to the more positive side of the circuit, the anode towards the more negative side, which, as you can see, is the opposite of the LED, cathode negative, anode positive. So based on how much light is falling on the photodiode, really it's going to let a certain amount of current go through it and so just in case we were able to get it bright enough i'm going to also put a one kilo ohm resistor in series with it right there it'll also help us compare the two circuits but in uh, any case it lets pretty much a specific amount of current through it based on how much light is falling on it so if you increase voltage that should not matter it's letting a certain amount of current go through as long as the voltage is high enough to be able to provide that current but uh, if it goes even higher, that current should be relatively stable. Whereas the photoresistor or light dependent resistor, as you raise voltage, since its resistance is fixed at a certain light level. So remember, we're talking about if the light level is steady. If you raise the voltage, the resistance is the same. You're going to have more current. The LED is going to get brighter. Whereas when you raise the voltage over here for this circuit, the LED should keep its brightness pretty steady. So here we got the one kilo ohm resistors to the positive supply comes to the top of the uh, light dependent resistor right there or photo resistor. I'll try to keep it pointed at the light but if I cover the light you can see the LED goes out and uh, it's not polarized doesn't matter which way you put it in LED longer lead is above the uh, shorter lead right there that is important right there. The uh, one kilo ohm resistor coming to the short lead, remember we reverse bias the photo diode, and there you can see the LED goes out. So that's the shorter lead. The cathode, longer lead, the anode comes to the anode of the LED, and then the cathode to ground right there. So hopefully you can see that. And as you can see, they're somewhere around the same uh, brightness for the most part. Their current may actually be off a uh, fair amount, but they're both really close to uh, probably one milliamp or maybe even a less right there. You can see uh, two total. So four volts may be a little bit too low, but in uh, any case, we're gonna raise the voltage to 12 volts. And you should be able to see the light dependent resistor one got brighter, whereas the photo diode did not uh, get any bit brighter. I actually went up a volt more than I wanted to, but we're only at six milliamps of current now, so we can raise this even more, uh, 19, even 20 volts right there. So at 20 volts, Remember, if we had a brighter light, there'd be more current, and uh, we may not want to raise the voltage as high, but uh, we're okay right now. So there you can see the light-dependent resistor is a whole lot uh, brighter, the LED that is in series with it. If we go back, so we got about 9 milliamps total right now. If I pluck it, then you can see it's about 7 milliamps lower. So we probably had about 7 milliamps going through this one versus somewhere around 2 with that one. Now we're going to drop the voltage to... There we go, it went down to one milliamp. And uh, actually it's adjusting, so it may not be uh, completely accurate. But there you go, we dropped the voltage more than in half, and uh, it's probably pretty close, but you can see the LED, its brightness didn't really change much. So we could take more accurate readings and whatnot, but uh, the main point was this of this video was that the photodiode acts more like a current source. Let's through a certain amount of current, as long as you have enough voltage based on how much light is falling on it. Whereas the light dependent resistor is a resistor. Its value changes based on the light on it. So voltage will make a big difference in the current going through it. So 
Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. If you can donate, please do. I have links down below. But otherwise, I appreciate that you watched the video. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.